Hello rail fans. Welcome to another Frog and Flange video from Southern Ontario, Canada. Today we will see some local movements in Hamilton servicing industrial customers. Here is the setup. The footage is taken from the very heart of Hamilton's heavy industry environment in the city's north end. The area is very dirty, always noisy and constantly busy. Nonetheless, having grown up in Hamilton before heavy industry decline took serious hold, I like it. The first video taken January 17, 2020, was really an accidental catch while driving by for another purpose. I saw a CP3042 and 3057 pulling out a cut of brand new rail cars from the National Steel Car Factory located alongside Hamilton's Burlington Street. Parking anywhere near to a filming location is almost non-existent and the extremely heavy truck traffic makes it risky. I apologize for the poor video quality. It was overcast, I was filming almost underneath an elevated roadway, and I had to run to set up for this unexpected movement, and I didn't really have any time to make uh, adjustments. However, the chance to film newly outshopped rolling stock leaving the factory grounds was too good to pass up. So here it is, warts and all. The pull is made first heading west across Kenilworth Avenue for about 250 yards, parallel to Burlington Street, and then turning left 90 degrees to head south under the elevated portion of uh, the street to head up to CP's Adams Yard, where another 90 degree turn, this time to the west, is needed. It is impossible to film at this yard because it is nestled on private property between two industrial giants, Union Drawn Steel, to the north and DeFasco to the south.
The second video, plus some stills, were taken September 11, 2019 at the only public rail crossing that allows a view into the National Steel Car grounds, albeit a very, very limited one. We see parts of a movement by a National Steel Car loco moving across Kenilworth Avenue North with a cut of finished or almost finished cars. Such movements are frequent and often include cars in various states of completion. These moves very often require National Steel Car trains to exit the factory grounds, pulling west across the public street, and then shoving back east into some other siding or factory bay on their property. We'll see partial shots showing some of the details of the new rolling stock, including SPMX, which I think is Shell Oil, AIMX, American Iron and Metal, NKLX, NK cars, which are leased to Grains Connect Canada, and intermodal TTX, which is TTX Co. Formulate Trailer Train. National Steel Car has been in Hamilton since 1912 and has a very interesting history, which includes the fabrication of not only freight cars, but also passenger coaches, trucks, bus bodies, war materials, and more. National Steel Car fabricated the renowned Lysander Stahl aircraft during World War II, which was widely used for night flights from England to drop off and pick up Allied operatives behind German lines. There's a link below to a timeline of its history. setup. It is January 16, 2020, and we see three CP locos moving northward, heading to the small yard situated north of Burlington Street and immediately west of Stelco. There is no position from which to film that yard area without trespassing. Please click like and subscribe and check back here regularly for more Ontario Rail action. And thank you for watching.